Subnote for tip number 20. And some say they must have a clear picture of what right mindfulness is. Why do we call this harmonious observation? Here it says in the Satchavibhanga Sutta, section 30, that the practitioner abides contemplating the body as the body, ardent and fully aware and mindful, observing carefully, having put away covetousness and grief for the world. He abides contemplating feeling as feeling. He is ardent, fully aware again, and mindful, observing carefully, having put away his desire or his aversion in the world. He abides contemplating mind as mind, ardent, fully aware, and mindful, observing carefully, having put away his covetousness and grief for the world. He has no pulling and no pushing in his life anymore, and he abides contemplating mind objects as mind objects, but not contemplating them out of his meditation. He is actually observing them inside his meditation too and ardent and fully aware, and observing carefully, having put away his desire or his aversion for the world. And this is his right mindfulness. He must be very careful to be clear that mindfulness was not just, watch out, don't bump your head. It was more than that. This is the training to understand the higher mind, and mind is the foreground for everything we do. Mind is where everything begins. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.